Okay, we got something weird going on here. Got the restrictor moved from the airflow. So we're getting an inch and a half there. This is a different kind of a burn. Weird, weird. Just kind of flipped out on this one. So all the air is actually burning. The fire is burning on the outside of the pipe. And this is definite proof that a vortex is taking place. So it's actually uh, a level two is in the transitional state. Inside. Hey, look at the cone. Look at this cone. Fantastic. Nothing like it on YouTube or Google. This would be a first. I felt uh, inclined tonight to uh, take out the six washers act like the, to block the air to see what would happen when full air was used on the new swirl device. And definitely a breakthrough. Oh, it's scared the crap out of me here. So I need to go back inside. Pretty cool. <laughs> Too much heat. It's hot. It's hotter. That is so cool. <laughs> I'd say it's an anomaly. Standing back four feet and just getting baked by the heat. down the eye. I don't know if you can see a swirl or not. But I'm sure the swirl that you've seen on the outside is now on the inside. So a level three swirl. A few minutes into the test. Pretty cool. All blue flame. A little bit of orange afterburn and purple. So in the width if uh, wood gas is added to this to produce the hydrogen, it's going to do something here. So all this using uh, actually less propane and just changing the having a larger volume of air has given a, probably a third to 50 percent increase in the BG output. I'm standing four feet back. And it's like I'm standing in front of a tiger torch or a blast furnace, it's, it's hot. So the air is kind of coming out and going up. It's uh, quite forceful, it's not even fully cranked yet. Just imagine what happened if you uh, added oxygen or steam to this or even uh, use shop air to Beef up the velocity. Incredible. Another breakthrough here. I'm uploading to YouTube now. Got the edge right up to 234, so this would be 235. We got a breakthrough here. Let's just give you a quick overview of the uh, setup. the uh, restrictor out of the back of the fan. And this is the swirl device or the uh, stopper that I made out of uh, six stainless steel washers. Going back to the front. Pipe charting the glow. friend here is going to try something. I think he's going to put some water down the pipe. There we go. 
Water is going into the small injector tube. Something. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hot, hot, hot. That was converted into uh, hydrogen right there. I felt the uh, blast of it. So we are onto something. This is the breaking point that we've been looking for. And it's only cranked to about two thirds capacity, and uh, we're literally being being cooked out here. I'm five feet back. The water burst right into uh, steam. So adding steam to it, it's going <laughs> to. Oh, you! I just want. I didn't. You cheated. I didn't want. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. We stuck kerosene in there, not. <laughs> Not water. You had me fooled. That sure poofed up though, didn't it? Again, a different flame reaction as the, uh, the pipe is heating up here. The pipe is still heating. I can't get near it. It's too hot. It's too hot for the camera. Look at that flame. anything you put into it. Anyway, good production here. Pipe is still getting hotter. Oh, four feet back and it's cooking. Look at that swirl. It's almost like a double swirl. Double, double helix swirl here. I can actually see two swirls. A double helix swirl. Eight and a half minutes, we're going to stop. We're in about 20 seconds here. Lots of purple, blue, crimson. I'm seeing this through the camera. Just caught a glimpse of the eye. Very, very intense heat. Almost a straight purple flame there. Incredible. The flame is changing as the pipe's heating up. Oh, heat. <laughs> We're six feet back and it's still hot. Okay, we're gonna call her here. 